Greetings and salutations, welcome to a brand new Football Manager 2017 team guide. Today we are looking at Burnley. Now if you don't know what these team guides are about, it's all about just looking at an overview of the team and seeing what we've got to work with this season. So we're going to look at the philosophies of the team expect you to play, um, the boardroom, so we're going to look at where they expect you to finish in the league, how much money you've got to spend, we're going to have a look at the staff and the team and any youth prospects in the team and see where we could improve the side, what sort of tactics we might play, and then talk about just sort of level of difficulty and how much fun this team will be. So Burnley, brand new promoted back to the Premiership. They don't expect you to play any philosophies, so that's good. You can play however you like and they'll be happy as long as you survive, I guess. Uh, you do get this lovely almost pink background, so that's, that's, that's lovely. Um, moving on to the boardroom. Hello, Mr. Boardroom. We have got... To perform this season we have got to avoid relegation that's to be expected I, I didn't expect anything else uh, the FA Cup fourth round League Cup third round okay that's fine that's kind of what we expected how much money have we got to do that please Mr Boardroom 10 million pounds that's pretty okay uh, we just did a Bournemouth guide that was there were 3.6 we've also got about 60,000 pounds in wages a week so we've got some money to spend to improve the squad We'll have a quick look at the staff and see if there's any areas that need improvement. Okay, so the staff does need an overhaul. We've got not enough physios, we've got some not enough bad, we've got a lot of bad scouts and we can hire a lot more. Uh, we also need to work on the training. So I, I think it pretty much a complete overhaul. This is one of the worst I've seen. Needs a lot of work. So that's, that's, that's a little job for you. That's always a fun one, hiring staff, isn't it? Fun times, fun times. So here's the team report. I won't go through this individually because we'll go through it. But if you want to pause the video and have a read through, do so now. Okay. Um, don't know why I pause. You could just pause it. And next we're going to look at the squad. We're going to start with the under-18s. And we're going to see if we've got any little talents in here. I'm not even going to look. No is the answer to that. We've got a possible three-star, but he's only three silver stars. So no, he's not going to be very good. Next up, we've got the under-23s team. Again, it's quite a big team. I maybe get rid of some of the dead wood here that are, like, you know, never going to make it. Um, let's have a look at uh, our, our star youngster, and that is Chris Long, 21 years old, currently out on loan. And he's on loan at Fleetwood, which is quite a low-ranking team for, for a decent player. He plays best as a poacher, and he's not bad. With some help, he could become a decent player. I'm not sure if he's ever going to become, like, first team a ball. But uh, also we've got Nick Pope. I'm actually going to move Nick Pope into the senior squad because he's 24 now. And if he's not good enough, we should be looking to sell him. So let's have a look at our main squad. That is my dog drinking in the background. He's so lazy, he lies down when he drinks. He just like sticks his head in the bowl. So this is the mighty Burnley team. Let's have a look through it. So we've got three goalkeepers now. We've got Tom Heaton, who's the main man, 30 years old now, pretty much prime age for a goalkeeper, and he's very he's very good for a Burnley side. Um, no, Nothing to worry about there. Now, we've got two options as backup. We've got Paul Robinson, who's 36, uh, earning 5,000 a week. It's important to look at that because we can see. So Nick Pope is earning 11,000 a week, uh, and he's valued at 625,000. I'd probably let Nick Pope go, just keep Paul Robinson for a season, um, and then look for a replacement next season, maybe a youngster that can eventually take over from Tom Heaton. But you might get a million, half a million for Nick Pope and get 11k off the wages. Never a bad thing. Next up, we're going to look at right backs. First off, we've got John Flanagan on loan from Liverpool. He's had some injury problems, so he's looking to get a good loan spell out of the way, get some good football, and he does look very, very good. He is a superb uh, fullback. His determination, his work rate is all really, really good. He'll run for days, and he's a solid, defensively-minded fullback. He's got 11 crossing, 13 passing. He's okay going forward, but 17 tackling is really nice. Just a very good player, and still only 23. Um, he'll, he's on loan for the season, so I think he'll do really well. And next up, we've got Matt Loughton, who's a 27-year-old right-back. And again, a pretty solid option, really. Uh, nothing too much to say. Good going forward. Um, pretty solid. Then we've got today Darikwa. Oh, Jesus Christ, I murdered that one. Uh, 24 years old. Uh, possible three-star potential, according to our scouts, which we know are shit. Uh, his technicals are lacking quite a lot, but he's got very good physicals. 
Now, that gives us sort of three right-back options. Obviously, Flanagan is right-footed, so we want to play him on the right-back position. So um, I'd maybe look to sell one of those. Maybe Derikwa. Did we buy him in? No, we can actually sell him, so that's good. How much is he worth? 2.6 million. Might get 3 million pounds for him. Gives you a little bit more money to spend. Uh, but that's sort of your options. I'm pretty comfortable at right back. So the left back option, we've got Stephen Ward. Again, another solid player. He's 30 years old now, so you're going to need to look at start replacing some of these in the next season or two. But decent enough for a season. His only backup, we've got Ben Mee. He, who's a centre back, really? He can fill in as a very defensive fullback, um, but not really. He's going to be one of your main centre backs. So, uh, John Flanagan can fill in, but like I said, he's right footed, so it's not ideal. So, maybe that's somewhere we, where we look to strengthen. So, Michael Keane is our main centre back. Very, very good player. Tw only 23, so he's going to improve and he's just a solid all-round centre back. Definitely keep him in the squad unless you get some silly offer that you can't refuse. Next up, we've got Kevin Long who's uh, very good in the air and lacks a bit elsewhere. 11 pace acceleration is not fantastic, but 25 years old. Decent backup, I'd say, option. Then we've got Ben Mee, who we looked at before. Very decent centre back. 16 tackling, 15 marking, 15 heading, jumping, which is 15. Uh, his positioning's 14. Yeah, very. I like him. He's a good centre back. Then we've got Jimmy Dunn. Big old Jimmy Dunster. I've no idea why this guy is in the first team. Um, yeah, let's just pretend he never existed in the first team, shall we? <clears throat> then we've got James Tarkowski. Is he Polish? No, he's English. That makes sense. Uh, just a solid backup, again, solid backup option. Only 23, so we'll improve. So as centre-backs, we've got some decent options. We're okay, unless, um, you know, we don't need to desperately need to fill in and get a new centre-back. Uh, Michael Keane and Ben Mee would probably be my starting partnership there. <clears throat> with Flanagan on the right and Stephen Ward on the left. Um, but, I think, yeah, that's pretty good depth. We just need another left-back, I'd say. Next up, we're going to go through central midfield. So first off, we've got Stephen Defoe, who's uh, been around the clubs, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been to a few places around the world. But very, very good central midfield option. He's your deep-line playmaker, but he's also pretty defensive as well if you need him to. His uh, marking's only 9, but tackling 14. So pretty versatile, can play most roles in central midfield, which is always nice. And he's at the peak of his powers, so I think he'll be decent. Next up, we've got Scotty Arfield, who scored at the weekend, didn't he? Um, who can play on both sides of uh, midfield, also centrally as well. But I, yeah, he's decent, a decent all-rounder. It's a nice player uh, to have on the bench or to come on that can sort of fill in any role. Then we've got Dean Marnie, uh, 20, or 32 years old now, and he's your ball-winning midfielder. He's your defensive midfielder. I'd either use him as that or... Or maybe even retrain him as a defensive midfielder as he's getting older a bit. 32 years old now, so we'll be looking to replace him soon enough. Then we've got Aidan O'Neill, who's a bright talent. He shouldn't be in the first team, though. I don't think he should be. You might want to give him some cup games, or you might want to loan him out. But not not hugely impressed by him. Then we've got Jeff Hendrick, the new signing from Derby, who's just a solid all-rounder. Decent player. I really like him in real life. I think he's a little bit underrated there. Um, but that's central midfield. Mm, it's not good. Uh, not great. I'd say Stephen DeFore is decent. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's a little bit weak, I'd say, that central midfield. I'd be a little bit worried about it. So let's talk about the wings now. So we've got Georgie Boyd, the long-haired wonder. Been around the block for years. Can play on both sides and behind the striker. And is decent. He's not the quickest, so he's not going to beat players on the wing too much. Um, but he's a pretty versatile player. I'd probably he's best as a ram duta um, or a wide midfielder. Well, not a lot many people play with wide midfielders, but he's decent and can f do a multiple of jobs. Um, next up, we've got uh, Michael Kitely, the short-assed, speedy guy who's not so speedy anymore because he's thirty years old. Again, with George Boyd getting on a little bit. How old was George Boyd? I feel like he's thirty as well. Is he thirty? He is thirty. So a couple of older players. Um, he's alright, decent backup rotation option I think, then we've got, Jesus Christ, Johan Berg Goodmanson, who they signed um, in the summer I think, from Charlton, yeah, he was in the Icelandic team that beat England, 
Uh, inside forward on the right, left-footed, so you could retrain him to be a left winger as well. He's got decent crossing and a decent all-round player, uh, 25 years old, so coming into the peak of his powers. Next up, so that's it for our wings. So, not massively... Uh, I don't mind Gunnarsson. Kindly's okay. George Boyd's okay. There's nothing that really stands out there. That's a little bit worrying. But we do have a couple of other options we can play at attacking in midfield if you want to go more attacking. First one is Patrick Bamford, on loan from Chelsea. Uh, decent striker. Decent young player, really. Uh, without being exceptional. Can play on this right-hand side as well. Uh, but he's left-footed. So I might train him as an inside forward or just a decent squad player. Next up, we've got the homophobic Andre Gray. Um, very, very good player. I like this guy, um, apart from his views on the world. But other than that, as a footballer, very good. Pacey striker. He'll be your first choice. Then we've got Ashley Barnes, who's out for four months to start the game. But he's a decent player. He's got some uh, decent mentals as well. 26 years old now. His, his, his technicals really do let him down. 12 finishing, a first touch. Composure's 11, that's it. The rest is a bit weak, um, but decent backup striker option. And then if you're looking for more of a target man option, Sam Vokes, who they bought from Bournemouth, uh, is a decent target man. Uh, not the quickest in the world, but, you know, not, not too bad for a target man. 15 jumping each, uh, 16 heading. If you're looking for a target man, he's pretty damn decent. So overall, as a team, I think it's okay. It's... It's going to be a struggle. I don't think anybody was thinking otherwise, really. For me, we've got £10 million. We've got a bit of money to spend. I think Stephen Ward is a good left-back, without being exceptional. I would try and loan in somebody that can feel, that can be a backup left-back, or maybe even first choice. I'd save my money for somewhere else, but I'd loan in a left-back. That's that's my first job done. I'm selling Nick Pope. Let's call half a million for Nick Pope. That's That's it. Um, central midfield, I want a partner for Stephen DeFore. That's that's my biggest thing in this team. Uh, Aidan O'Neill could be decent, but he's way off the pace. And let's think of, he's not going to get in the team. We're lacking sorely on central midfielders. Um, so most of my money, let's say six, eight million pounds, would go on a central midfielder. And then on, on the other side of that, I try and bring in one more winger, whether that's just a cheaper, older player that's transfer listed or another loan and that would be as a wing position i think you're all right up front you could even play two you've got sam Vokes as your target man you've got gray as your pacey guy uh but i'd probably just play I'd, i don't know my personal preference is usually to play one up front uh, but you will need some help for, for some better wingers or inside forwards so let's talk about the challenge of this team is it going to be difficult to play and how much fun will they be to play it's going to be a struggle it's going to be a challenge this one i think Good thing is we've got some money. We can really, with that £10 million, we can really affect some changes on this team. We can improve it. It does need improving. But I think it's doable. I think, uh, having looked at the Bournemouth team so far, I think they also have to survive relegation. But they're in a lot better position to do so. They've got, they've got about four or five players that would walk into this side easily. So I think they're going to be quite a tricky challenge this year. Uh, looking, at, looking at the table... Um, we've got Hull, the likes of Hull are going to struggle, Middlesbrough are going to struggle obviously um, but other than that it's going to be a battle, I think you'd be happy if you can get like around the 15th mark I think it would be a good performance this season, let me know what you guys think of this team in the comments below who would you sign, who could you sign who's going to come to Burnley um, is there any of these players that you're going to sell move on, are you going to cash in on some of the big names like the Michael Keane who is probably wanted by some of the bigger clubs. Man City, fuck me. Okay. Um, wasn't expecting quite Man City, but he is very good, so fair enough. Um, are you going to cash in on the likes of Michael Keane or try and keep that solid centre-back there as you're the heart of your defence? Um, let me know. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, do hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the place. I'm doing a Premiership guide on every single team in the Premiership. Plus, I've got Liverpool saves and all sorts of good stuff and experiments. Just go check it out. Have a little meander around my YouTube channel and enjoy. Thank you very much for enjoying me. Enjoying me. Thank you very much for enjoying me, people. Mm. Uh, I will see you bright and early in the next video. Love you all. Bye-bye.